Hello everybody, how is it going? My name is Lucas and today on Amps of the Axe 3 we're going to be looking at a pretty unique amp called the 2 Rock Jet 35. And guys, if this is your first time here or if you've been here before, make sure you are subscribed. I do lots of cool stuff like this. I do mixing tutorials, Axe Effects stuff, and I do do giveaways from time to time. I don't want you to miss any of that cool stuff, so make sure you are subscribed. So, without any further ado, let's jump right in and check out the 2 Rock Jet 35. So the 2 Rock is a very interesting amp as we can see here on the Axe FX wiki. Um, you have two modes in it. You have um, your normal one with the preamp on and you have one with the uh, preamp bypass on which means it's pretty much like just the power amp. I'll show you that. It's kind of odd. We have that. Uh, we actually have a lot of two stone cabs in the Axe FX which kind of shocked me. I didn't realize we had that many of them. I'm going to be using one of those today. Uh, it has your typical controls. It uses 6L six tubes and some comments from Cliff himself. For those of you who don't know, Cliff is the owner CEO of Fractal Audio. He says it's a very smooth uh, amp, but there's a unique chirp to s chirp or something that I've never heard in an amp before. Uh, when you hit the notes, it's like a blast of high end that rapidly decays. It's almost vocal like. And then the next one, he says it's sort of like a violin. Uh, but we'll definitely check that out. Um, Two Rock is actually a pretty known um, amp builder. I had never really heard of them before I actually checked this out in the, in the Axe FX. Um, Joey Landers has a signature amp for them, and they have a lot of artists uh, they made in California. Um, so they're a pretty cool amp. They're kind of more like, you know, um, you're like boutique-y kind of like bluesy type of type of amp guy going on. That's kind of what they're like, and I'm going to show you that today. And the uh, guitar we're going to be using is my uh, parts caster. It has a warmth neck, has a Fender Mexican body with stock fender mexican pickups in it and it's going to be an e flat so let me kind of show you around the two rock first <laughs> So as you can see, it has a very cool, uh, like light breakup sound. It's kind of got a dial in right here. Got a little bit of good on there. You do have a gain and you do have an overdrive knob. A lot of amps in the Axe FX do kind of have this, which is nice because you can kind of play with it, get the exact sound that you want. I got the bright switch on. And I wise is what I'm using. I'm just using the, it's called Two Stone in the Axe FX, by the way. That's what the amp's called. Actually, let me show you. It's called the Two Stone J35. I'm just calling it by the real amp name, and I'm using the this one. I tried a few other ones. This just rocked it, and I went with it. It sounds really great. I actually kind of really like this IR. It fits the amp absolutely perfectly. Uh, this is my EQ settings. I just pulled a little bit of mids out of there. Um, I dialed everything from the tone now, but uh, this used to be... They changed the name of this. This is the actual amp settings, and this is like extra shit. So this is amp settings, extra stuff. I always do it from the amp settings itself. I said try and you know, get it close to the amp as possible. I didn't touch the master. I, I left everything very, very simple with this and kind of just turn some knobs. So let me see, let me let you hear what it sounds like when I'm using the different um, switches, different pickup modes on my uh, parts caster. Gonna move into the uh, position four, I believe it is, which is like, I think it's the bridge and you get one of the singles. <laughs>
I really like the way this game sounds. This is kind of one of the hidden, unknown features in the aspects, if you ask me. Because, like I said, I've never heard any press about this. I've never seen any patches about it on the forum. I've never seen anything about this game. But, man, I really like it. And Cliff is right. It has, like, this cool little, like, chime to it. That I, I don't know. It sounds... It sounds really good, and it's, it sounds good on my, on my parts cast. I didn't have to fight the Dallas thing in. Um, IR-wise, I, re- I was originally using my ML Mega Green, which I use for everything, but I just find the actual IR that goes with it, it sounds really great. Now let me show you the preamp bypassed one. So when you come to the preamp bypassed, it's pretty much... So the, the preamp's gone, so you have none of the actual tone controls, and it's pretty much like just just like power amp, pretty much. And what did I have in here, EQ wise? It's flat EQ. Let me just see. Let me let me show you. With the preamp bypass, as you can see, like the low end kind of disappears on it, and it's like very mid heavy. This is really cool if you want to like put uh, a preamp type pedal in front. So, if for example, if you want to run your metal zone right into this, I uh, so that would give you the controls more off of the metal zone for like the highs and lows and stuff, and you can do it like that. You have that option. I don't ever foresee myself using the preamp bypass mode itself. And I do have a drive on here. We'll wrap things up, and I'll show you uh, what it sounds like uh, with a drive. I use a Super OD. It's gonna be a uh, Super MIDI. I just, I just picked this one because I was tired of using the the um, TS9 for everything, and this one it kind of fits the amp. <laughs> As you can see, you lose a little bit of bass whenever you're using the drive. Um, this, the drive explodes it with tons of MIDI, and let me kind of just show you what it sounds like when you mess with the gain over. find it's best with your gain around uh five and your overdrive up around eight i just find it kind of sings right there just for me and my setup that's kind of how i thought it sounded the best all right guys that is gonna wrap it up for the two rockets jet 35 guys if you thought this video was cool leave me a thumbs up i would greatly 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 appreciate that if you aren't subbed you should lots of cool stuff going on here next up on amps of the axe 3 we have 
We're going to be looking at the Diamond Del Feo, which is a newer amp added uh, recently in, con in some of the firmware. And we're going to be looking at another smaller amp, keeping with this theme that we got going, the Marshall SV20 Aging. Guys, make sure you sub so you don't miss any of that cool stuff. Sorry if my game show voice uh, annoyed you. It popped up out of nowhere. Guys, I know there's a lot of crap on YouTube, a lot of stuff vying for your attention, but I appreciate you staying here, watching this video. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.